Hi Capricorn, welcome back to RZ Tarot. This is our mid-month reading for our professional life and our money. This carries us through mid-May to mid-June. Let's jump in and see what our energy is, that undercurrent, what's going on in our psyche right now. Ooh, we got the reverse magician. This has us knocked off on our confidence a little bit about our professional life and the money. But with it coming in reversed, it's also telling us that um, we're overlooking something. Uh, we may not be seeing an opportunity, a resource, something that's available to us. Or we just, we might be waiting for it to present itself to us. So, yeah. The cards coming underneath it, we have the King of Spades. The Seven of Spades. And the Nine of Clubs. That Nine of Clubs has us in like a protective, almost defensive mode. But think more of protective. We we feel like there's a need. We, we're trying to protect ourselves and others or our position, our job, something like that. Um, with that Seven of Spades coming, coming in between, uh, that King of Swords has us, you know, on a mental level, a lot of mental energy going on, trying to figure things out. But it's also, our, sometimes our King of Spades as a King of Swords in regular tarot can have us thinking uh, in an old pattern inside of a box, inside our comfort zone. Uh, and it would be normal if we're feeling a little threatened to um, not be able to relax enough to imagine and dream outside of our comfort zone and the regular familiar things that we do. Uh, the seven is an indication we feel like something's been taken from us. Uh, that card is about betrayal, but it's also like you feel like somebody stole something or took something from you. Uh, the flip side of it is the positive is it actually sort of ignites a fire within us to recover what's been stolen from us. So that's what's going on in our psyche, in our mind, in our heart, what, you know, that, what we don't share a lot with others. Uh, that's our mind frame. The first week, the midweek of May, we've got an Ace of Swords upright. I like this because it's reconfirming that magician on on his head of where there's actually something <clears throat> that um, we're not possibly not seeing yet or hasn't presented itself to us yet that's going to give us more confidence and move us forward and make us feel like there's a victory, you know, success. Underneath that's the Ace of Pentacles. It has very much to do with the money, the resources. So, yeah. Uh, underneath that, we've got a Six Pentacles, and this is the card of needing assistance. It's our charity card, either being able to give to others or we, we're in a position where we need we need that assistance. We need someone to give to us. So when I pull clarifier cards um, for these, we've got the six of wands. Six of wands making progress moving forward. Uh, underneath of the Queen of Pentacles, that uh, feeling safe and secure, the environment of feeling safe and secure within our job, our professional life, and our finances. Of uh, we absolutely are needing that to you know make progress in that area. Uh, that's what's on our mind. Uh, the, I like the fact that we've got the aces because it's indication it's it's there. It's coming real quick. That with those aces, things are going to flip over and move, start moving forward. The last week of May, we've got our King of Swords. Uh, yeah, that's our King of Spades here. We're still in that mental energy of trying to figure things out. And like I said, for some of us, the fact that we feel a little threatened, we might be, th you know, not thinking outside the box, not able to relax our mind enough with the circumstances that are going on around us where we can think in a creative way of um what are my opportunities what can i what can i gain from what's going on how can i create something new from what's going on um thinking outside that you know the 
comfort zone, so to say. Underneath that, we have the Eight of Wands. Absolutely, Eight of Wands is a card of momentum picking up. But it's also a card that tells us we might be thinking small. It's like, think big. If you're going to play, play big. Dream big. So, yeah, it's coming outside of our comfort zone. But it's also an insinuation. Something's moving forward a little quick for us. It's going to start picking up momentum. We've got the Prince of Wands. And I like this one because that has us coming a little bit outside of our comfort zone. Uh, and quit stressing and worrying so much about um circumstances and all the outer influences is actually ignited some uh, ambition in us that fire within us that motivates us to uh, boldly charge forward on something and to go after something and underneath that we have the eight of cups mm, like that because that's the turning point that's the turning point and that but that's probably showing us coming out of the stress that defensive mode of our nine of clubs over here <clears throat> and has us really looking at even though we've took a loss we are seeing <laughs> something's missing and stuff it's moving it's that fire is moving us that passion that ambition to overcome it then we have wow our princess of swords our page of swords I like this because this really good match right here because it has us coming out of our old way of thinking and believing and actually becoming more flexible, adaptable, moving outside of our comfort zone, of thinking more optimistically, uh, more on a youthfulness of, I might have a new beginning here. I can do something different. I think I can. I think I can. That kind of youthfulness, being flexible, adaptable, and, and even in hard situations of thinking in a, the new terms of, oh, what can I do from this? It's almost picking up that this is an adventure kind of attitude within yourself, that youthfulness. Our uh, energy going in to... June. This is just like the beginning. It's what's going on in our mind and our heart. We've got a King of Diamonds. I like that because we're switching over from our King of Swords into thinking more about how to manifest long term on the material uh, resources, finances. We're thinking more practical. We're coming outside of that uh, fear mode. So, yeah, I like that. Then we have our two of spades. That's a two of swords. That's God is trying to make a decision. At a crossroad, really trying to make a decision. Underneath that, we're, woo, we're pinging back. We've got an ace of diamonds, and that's the ace of pentacles here. So, I like that because we're trying to make a decision on... Uh, investing in a new way or a time attention and resources into something new that's going to grow us money and produce money something more prosperous for us wow love it absolutely the two of diamonds that's the two of pentacles that has us uh willing to um juggle our professional and personal life around and actually start learning new skills yeah, absolutely. So we're we're definitely going into June. Our mindset, our um, psyche has flipped its energy, and we're feeling more positive and optimistic. And we're really starting to consider how we can grow from this. What what do we do next? What do we want to do next? The first week of June. We have the Queen of Chalices. I like seeing her because that's us pinging on our intuition and really, um, how do I put it, sort of withdrawing into ourselves and reading the undercurrent, the energies of what's going on in a different way. We're, you know, being more optimistic. Underneath that, we have the Four of Chalices has us very focused, and like I said, uh, is pinging me back to our magician on his head of we might be a little too focused, and the, we might be overlooking an opportunity, something coming to us because we're trying to figure out so much. Um, and what we're trying to figure out is that Nine of Pentacles of that most definitely we want more independence, less less codependency on. 
uh, what we've been doing. We want to feel more secure and free and independent when it comes to income and resources. Uh, in our professional life, but our nine of pentacles also brings in our personal life, our home life. So, yeah, most definitely we are really wanting and ping in on your intuition. Really trust your intuition. Uh, that's how we get our magician to come up uh, back upright is when we start going by what we know. By our experience, our own experience, our own knowledge, by our own guidance, our own higher self guidance. So, yeah, I pulled clarifier cards on uh, the four of chalices. And what we seem to be really focused in on is the standing stone. That's our justice card, our labor energy of fairness, but also direction. We want divine direction. We really want guidance. Clear signs and symbols that, you know, help us because uh, we did get the two of spades. That is a crossroad of trying to make a hard decision. Uh, this card is telling us to to pay attention, bring yourself back to the here and now, make sure you're not missing your the clues and the signs, the symbols, the synchronicities, uh, opportunities that your higher self is presenting to you during this time because you're getting divine guidance. Um, the Green Witch Tarot always brings in that nuance of direction because we got a standing stone, a marker in the road, that signpost that says, yes, go this way. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to help us. And the Wheel of Fortune, we're, we're wanting that wheel to start turning, to move. We're ready for change. We're ready to transition into a new season away from uh, what we're going, you know, been experiencing right now. Away from that defense, feeling like we need to defend ourselves and that something's being taken from us. So, our midweek of June, our last week of this reading, I like this. We've got our Knight of Wands, has us moving in a new direction, possibly a new career, a new job, a new creative project. Could be a side hustle, something like that, but it's absolutely action. You're on your horse going towards it. Underneath that, we have our High Priestess. Hmm. Under her, we have the World Tree. Closure, bringing something to closure. Hmm, wow. Let me take a minute with these, because underneath that, the underneath overall energy is our Ten of Pentacles. And that's long-term investment into a legacy, into that retirement, where you're wanting to head. Feeling really secure, in your finances, in your career, things like that, you're retiring with in a comfortable way. Our high priestess is what seems to be stumping me here with the world card needing to bring closure and tie up loose ends. But with our high priestess, a lot of times she's in, in insinuation something. We're not seeing, still not seeing something. Or something's just uh, just coming in. Because it actually has us doing like a uh, ritual. Uh, it very much goes with, where did we get her? Our Queen of Cups. Up here, there are two intuitives. Um, extremely intuitive. So. Hmm. It actually may be that whatever we're not seeing that hasn't presented itself all of a sudden presents itself because we go into ritual mode, the ritual mode of bringing closure and tying up loose ends. And like I said, it's got us moving into this direction of that Ten of Pentacles into something long term that we can do long term and it feels good and secure to us and gives us that sense of we absolutely can manifest and do do something long term and retire with it, it a good retirement um i did pull clarifier cards i forgot i actually pulled clarifier cards on the one that stumped me you know, like capricorns i'm not hitting that too well today am i <laughs> i pulled clarifier cards on the high priestess so yeah nine of athames to clarify her wow this is stress, anxiety, worry. It's back into defensive mode over here. 
some of our fear-based stuff, stress. What are we stressing about? The Six of Wands being able to make progress and get a victory and start moving forward. Uh, it incorporates, our Six of Wands always incorporates. We had others that helped us. There was other things, other factors that helped us, other people that helped us. Uh, the Holly King, we're stressing about going forward, maybe, on doing something on our own. But following our own direction and coming outside of what we would normally do. We're, you know, building that bravery, so to say, with the, because he's our next extreme intuitive of intuiting our way to into a new direction. And absolutely, page of chalices, we're wanting to do something that's more fulfilling for us, that feels better to us. On an emotional level, level that doesn't threaten us so much. And it's put us back at that youthful stage. Goes very much with our page of swords here. But it's on the chalice level. We're taking our time and getting ready to start something new. Our anxiety, the stress, what, what was holding, you know, really stumping me about this one is, yeah, is bringing up fears. Fears for us about actually are we going to be able to move forward can we do something on our own and what do we want to do on our own how do we want that to look so yeah i like that i like that let's go ahead and pull our other cards what do i got here i don't want to there we go okay our other cards i've actually asked about the Physical money. I don't want to know about our careers, our jobs, nothing else. I've asked Divine with our Radiant Rider Weight deck to tell me what is going on with my Capricorns with their money. The actual money. What's going on. What's important to know. We got an Emperor card upright. The next one, we've got a... Six of Wands. We got that over here also under that. High Priestess. Mm, okay. Okay. We got Six of Wands. The Page of Wands. The Hierophant. And then a Four of Wands. Hmm. We got the Emperor and the Hierophant. That's two different sources of income. Oh, we're waiting to see if um, it's coming in, if we're going to be able to make progress and uh, actually feel more confident, ambitious, uh, that it, where it ignites our fire. Our fire might be a little extinguished right now with the King of Swords stuff going on and our King of Pentacles. This is our motivator. Uh, so, w what I'm sort of picking up here is... Waiting, waiting for something to present itself, waiting for money to come in. Two different sources. Uh, our emperor is going to be, represent like government, government money coming in. But our pope money is going to um, <clears throat> represent institutional money coming in. <clears throat> like um, insurance, unemployment, something like that. So, the, I'm, I'm really, we all know what's going on in the world right now. I'm wondering about the stimulus check. Stimulus check. Or is some of my Capricorn still waiting on a stimulus check? Or are we uh, wondering uh, something about the stimulus check? Is it coming in? Uh, is it presenting itself? Because we got that six of wands again of that assistance of it helping you, helping you, getting you uh, moving forward. Uh, with the page of wands, um, and the hair font, like I said, this could be we're waiting on unemployment or an insurance check, some other kind of income coming from an institution. So with the four of wands, I'm wondering for some of my Capricorns if like or our partner is also or our spouse uh, is also waiting or one one or the other. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know. More likely. If it's, if it's the case, with our, it might be our spouse or our partner waiting on unemployment or something like that. So, uh, it incorporates um, home and hearth and professional life. So, yeah. Um, 
let's pull some cards. Let's pull some cards because this is not giving me a definite because this has us waiting on uh, income sources to come in. Let's find out. Let's find out. So bear with me a minute. Let's do our emperor. Will my Capricorns have the emperor's money in their hand during this month, in their possession this month? Not on the way. We want to know if it's going to be in their hands, in their possession this month. And that's the emperor's money. Taking that one. We've got a death card. Let me keep going. Are we going to get? The hair fonts money in their hands, in their possession this month. This month. I'm taking that one. It pinged. Um, with the, the institutional money, it's saying that it's rolling in. It's rolling in. We're going to pull more on our... Uh, emperor's money because it gives us a death card and I'm not quite sure so it's going to have to clarify about that death card because that could be a no but it could also be a yes that we're going to have it in our hands and I think I see it right there right there that's the one I want absolutely absolutely we're getting it, the emperor's money uh, it, the government money um, this is, this is, you know, this is not like state money, things like that. This is like government, government, like federal, something. Like I said, stimulus check something. We're absolutely, yeah, things are going to trans, and it's going to transform our faith. It's going to re in us because that page of pentacles is, it's putting it into our hands, giving it to us to move forward. Uh, let's pull on... A clarifier on the hair font to make sure because this is like it's it's coming into you. it the momentum's picking up but we want to know try to get a definite an answer will we have the hair fonts money in our possession this month mid-may to mid-june not seeing it no how about let's go let's go one step further for my couple coins here. Will they have the hair fonts money in their hands, in their possession next month, mid June to mid July? I think it's this one. Disorganized, things are working now. Give us a clarifier. Give us a definite in their hands, in their possession. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we're going to have some of it, but not all of it. With that four of pentacles, there's a confusion uh, of the hair fonts money. Like I said, institutional money. It can be an employment thing, insurance money. There's going to be a confusion, and we're it's not going to give us the total amount of what we're what we're owed. And that will be in mid-June to mid-July. So, yeah. Hope that helps some. I hope that gives you some clarity on, on it. Let's go ahead and pull our Oracle cards for this month. We have the Ten of Thought. A situation that's been troubling you has come to an end and you can breathe a sigh of relief. With the challenging times behind you, you can now move on. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his or her addiction or codependency issues. I like that one because where was it? What are we mm, not having to rely? I know we've got that. Not, there it is. The nine of pentacles. Not having to rely on others. No, that was the six of pentacles. I'm pretty sure we got it. I know we got it somewhere where we want that feeling of independence but financial security so yeah this is an insinuating that we're making progress towards letting go of having to rely on others for assistance the next card ten of emotion 
Life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured. By offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others, you are rewarded with unconditional love. I like that one. And our next one, be open to success. Wow, I like it. Look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. Absolutely. You've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with the gratitude you deserve. Like that, my Capricorns. Okay, that's all I have for our mid-month reading. I hope it helped a little bit. I want to thank all of you that subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. Thank you so much for supporting me in this channel. Uh, I want to wish you a blessed month, a stress-free month, and also a month of building bold, courageous confidence to move into the directions you really want to go in having success in that so yeah thank you so much for visiting my channel hope i'll see you again next time bless be